Hey everyone, Keegan with Dark Arrow. I wanted to go over with you our machining spreadsheet calculator. If you go over to darkarrow.com and click on knowledge, that brings you to our knowledge base. And from there, you can go to machining. Within machining, there is a link to our machining spreadsheet tool. This tool is awesome. It helps you calculate your feeds, your speeds, your material removal rate, power consumption, and workpiece forces. It's packed with a ton of good uh, calculations for your machining. And it's something that we find really useful out at our shop and we wanted to share it with you guys. Hopefully you'll find it just as valuable as we do. So let's jump in, let's click right on it. So when you click on it, it is gonna open up a new tab that is to a Google spreadsheet. If you aren't logged in to Google, you'll need to log in in order to manipulate these cells. If you don't, it's just a view only copy. So log in and uh, once you're logged in, you can play around with it. So there's a lot of information going on, but I'll give you a really high level overview. It's really not that bad. Um, starting right at the top here, we've got our basic information about our color coding. So blue cells, you're going to modify those. Blue and orange, you're going to modify. Orange is a modifier where you're, wanna get, you're going to want to get that information from your tool supplier. And then green is all your output information, so um, what you're solving for, whether that's your feed, your speed, material removal rate, power consumption, etc. So. For us at our shop, we have a Tormach PCNC 1103 series. So we've got the information about the machine's um, feed rate and its power consumption. The spreadsheet right now is pretty specific to that mill because again, that's what we've got. But um, if you want to update these values, you're free to do that. I know they're not blue, but you can go in there and modify those and that'll um, populate everything that needs to be populated down below because it'll just pull from these cells. So I'd like to update this in the future for different machines so that this is becomes more of a drop-down cell for your respective machine. Like say you have 1100MX or a Haas, you'll be able to drop that down and then these will populate accordingly. But for now, you'll have to manually enter them in for your respective machine. So. Uh, in this first section here, it's all about roughing and profiling, which is kind of what you're going to start initially doing anyways when you machine out a block of material, typically. Um, so you start out by entering in the material that you're going to be um, machining out. And there's a nice list here to pick from. We don't have every material in here, but a lot of the popular ones will continue to add more. I have a note to myself. On the right here, I should note that um, the Kind of the bulk of where your focus should be for the spreadsheet is on the left side where you're entering in information and getting your output information in green but if you ever get hung up there's some helpful notes on the right here that further describes what's going on on the left and in addition to that um, there's additional notes um, in each cell that contains a little black triangle in the upper corner of it so if you just put your cursor on that cell and let it sit for a second. It'll pull open a note that describes what's going on there if you get hung up or if you get confused. I know when we started machining, there's a lot of different nomenclature thrown around like MRR, DOC, uh, WOC, and it got confusing. So um, yeah, just we kind of try to spell that out so it's not a mystery for you. So, or a mystery for us if we forget <laughs> in the future. But anyways, um, so again, blue cells, you modify those. So select your material, put your tool uh, width in here. So let's say we have a 0.3125, you can enter that in. Enter in your number of flutes. And then you're gonna solve here with this information after you get this entered in for your inch per tooth and your spindle speed. Um, it's going to spit out a feed rate for you in a surface feet per minute. If you were actually trying to solve for your inch per tooth, you can do that by putting in your feed rate here with the additional information right here, and that'll give you your inch per tooth. But with this information you enter right here, that gives you your feed rate. And um, if you wanted to actually solve for your inch per tooth, you can just modify your feed rate to get that right there. Uh, continuing down the sheet, 
We also have a section here for determining your MRR or material removal rate. That's based on your depth of cut and your width of cut. So as you um, modify these, your MRR updates accordingly right here. Uh, we also have a nice little uh, handy reference guide here. So when you put in your tool diameter, it'll tell you kind of your limits for min and max for your width of cut and depth of cut on what you don't want to exceed. And then another handy little uh, output value here is your chip thinning. So basically what that is, is are you, when you're cutting along the edge of your material, are you rubbing your tool on your material or are you actually creating a chip? So based on the information you put up above, it'll tell you if you're rubbing or not on your material. So from there, you've got the machine's power consumption. So with a machine like the Tormach, it could be pretty easy to um, exceed that 1.5 horsepower, which is actually more like 1.35 once you consider the efficiency of it. So that's a good thing to know because you don't want to stall at your machine. So that is kind of based on your width of cut and your depth of cut primarily. So say we updated this um, from 50 thou to, gosh, let's do one just to see how crazy it goes. Yeah. So you're definitely not wanting to do that. Um, you're going to exceed your horsepower limits. And the, the spreadsheet's pretty good at telling you that and it'll start sounding the alarms with red. So let's drop that back down to something more reasonable. And then it'll say, okay, yeah, you can, you can make that happen with your machine. So uh, there's a lot of good little logic in here to help guide you as you're populating the blue cell. So, um, and again, if you ever get confused on where you're at, just look over to the right or look for the black um, squares or sorry, not squares, triangles that'll help provide more information for you. Um, in addition to that, um, you've got your tangential cutting forces on your workpiece, which is really handy. So what that's all about is, did I clamp my part down hard enough? Uh, how much force am I going to be putting into it? So that's really handy as well. The drilling calcs, that's going to be based on your material. So you get a new material list here now. This is all, um, these three values right here drive all this information here. So it kind of overrides anything you've put up here. Drilling is more of a separate category, if you will. So select your material, select your drill diameter and your spindle speed and your um, your tool supplier's recommended feed rate. And that'll populate all these values and give you useful information for drilling specifically. Down at the bottom of the sheet, we've got our information about finishing. So that's your scallop height, um, your step over distance, and then your effective diameter. So effective diameter, when you're using a ball end mill and you're doing finishing, uh, you're not actually cutting with the full diameter of the tool, you're actually cutting with the tip of the tool and that changes your inch per tooth cutting. And again, more information about that if you're not familiar with it. And this spits out some useful information about your feed rate, your effective diameter and your surface feet per minute. And then at the very bottom, we kind of give credit to other um, tools or machining calculators that we've come across that we've liked, um, but it didn't have all the information we wanted or it wasn't presented in a way that we um, found useful. So, um, but if it's useful for you, there's a reference to those um, other calculators as well that uh, can be helpful to you in your machining journey. So that is the spreadsheet from a very high level. I hope that all makes sense. Again, there's a lot of info here. I don't have time to go over all of it with you, so you'll just have to download it and play with it yourself and let me know if you find any issues. One more tab to mention here. Uh, there's a machining checklist, another thing that we use out at our shop. Um, feel free to check that out as well. And hopefully this will help you with your machining. So that's all I've got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed, hope you liked it. Um, feel free to subscribe if you find this information useful. We'll catch you guys in the next video.